Well, you're driving through a Georgia town, glance in your rearview mirror and see something that's going to cost you big time. Yeah, blue lights and maybe a siren to go with them. A Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis investigates Georgia cities that depend the most on ticket revenue to balance their budgets. Randy? That's right, Russ and Marissa. No town wants to be known as a speed trap. Still, we found dozens of Georgia cities relying heavily on fines to keep their budget in the black. In the historic Georgia coastal town of Darien, the fishing is legendary. On one side, they haul in shrimp. We got one at 86. On the other, almost like you for speeding, okay? They haul in super speeders. If you was fishing, I would say any stretch of 95 is a good fish to hold. This four mile stretch of Interstate 95 is inside the Darien city limits, even though the main part of town is a couple miles closer to the coast. For Lieutenant Anthony Brown, it really is like shooting fish in a barrel. So, I mean, you could be out here 24 7 yes. and write tickets. Yes, correct. His official mission for this town of nearly 2,000 people public safety. But some see something far more troubling than just a speeding ticket. What we see in Georgia is cities that are incredibly reliant on all sorts of fines and fees. For Joanne Weiss co founded the Fines and Fees Justice Center, dedicated to reducing the amount of ticket money U.S. cities rely on to balance their budgets. She says the average small city gets around 2% of its revenues that way. Darien's last budget included $4 million in revenues. In that one year, they collected $1.9 million in fines and forfeitures. That's not 2%, that's nearly 50%. In fact, a nationwide study by the online magazine Governing found nearly 100 Georgia cities relying on ticket money to fund at least 10% of their annual revenues. Places like Jonesboro, Pine Lake, and Stone Mountain. If we are relying on fines and fees to raise revenue for a city, that means um, in order to keep the budget up, we need there to be more crime. That's not sustainable. Of all Georgia's cities and counties, Darien ranked 17th on the list of being most reliant on ticket money. The top 20 are all outside Metro Atlanta. I'm happy to see you. You may not be happy to see me. Darien city leaders maintain they're doing nothing wrong. So they invited the Fox 5 I team to come see how it works. We're going to try to work through this process as quickly as possible. On this Thursday morning, dozens of out-of-towners took their turn going before Judge Gene Bolin, the congenial part-time head of the municipal court. If they pled guilty or no contest, they could get their ticket reduced to going 84 in a 70 avoiding an extra $200 super speeder fine and any points on their record. I just feel like it's a big trap. Few people left the courtroom thinking they got a good deal. It cost Joseph Howell $248 cash to put Darien in his rearview mirror. I think that the city should dwell in the city and take care of the problems that arise in the city and not be out on the interstate. Just the speed of 85 miles per hour. Explain to me why writing tickets for speeding on I-95 is keeping the people here in Darien safe. Well, it's, you, you know, you never know who's out there. We just had a car accident at exit 49 and there was a fatality. Do your citizens uh, routinely use I-95 to get around? I'm not quite certain as to where everybody goes. We did see Darien police also patrolling in the city proper, writing tickets there too. But when a small city relies heavily on ticket money, there's another worry these days. And it has a name, Ferguson. We all know what happened in Ferguson, Missouri in 2014. A white police officer fatally shot a black suspect, sparking days of riots and looting. A Department of Justice investigation later determined the city's reliance on fines to balance their budget created years of police mistrust in the community that ultimately boiled over. In response, the state of Missouri now limits fines and fees to 20% of a city's revenues. If that same law applied in Georgia, 51 cities would exceed that number, including Darien. Yeah, that's the super speeder right here at Dodge Ram. I don't think our climate is anywhere near uh, Ferguson. Fine of $400 plus $50 court cost. The city is considering alternative revenue sources okay. because one day the fish may decide to seek state. friendlier waters. The people who are complaining are people who don't live in Darien. So there's not really any political pressure for you guys to change in any way, is there? Uh, there, there is not, but again, I think the uh, basic insinuation is that we're doing something wrong. And that is simply not the case. 
Now you can check to see whether your city is on the list of big ticket towns. Just go to fox5atlanta.com and click on this story under the iTeam button. I, I would bet that the flow of traffic on I-95 in Darien is probably 80 miles an hour, but <laughs> maybe that's a separate story. Yeah. Is there any uh, effort in Georgia to copy what they've done in Missouri to, to limit the percentage that cities get from their tickets? To 20 percent? Yeah. There's no traction at all. I, I checked. Uh, there's no interest at all. But although we do have our own law, it's, uh, it involves speeding tickets. There's a certain percentage that a city cannot exceed, otherwise they lose their license to run radar. Hmm. But it's a complicated formula in a way. Uh, there are exceptions to it. And I checked with the Georgia State Patrol and they could give me the name of no city that's lost its radar. So there's still an issue when it comes to the percentage of, of revenue that's coming from all tickets here in Georgia. And it's certainly something to watch. Yep. Thanks, Randy. Okay.